morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Let's pray, believers. Father God, I thank you today for this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Father God, I thank you today that you are the great I am. Lord, I thank you that you are what we need when we need it. Father God, I thank you today for your words as those who thirst and hunger for righteousness shall be filled as a deer pants for water. Father God, we pant for your presence. Oh, do we need thee. Father God, I thank you today that you are the mountain mover, the yoke destroyer, the blind eye opener. Father God, I thank you today that we trust you in spite of what we see. So Father God, I thank you today that we walk by faith and not by sight. Father God, I thank you today that we delight ourselves in you and your word. And because of that, your word says you'll give us the desires of our heart. Lord, I thank you today as your words in 1 Peter 5, 7, we cast all our cares, all our worries, all our doubts, all our fears. Father God, we give them to you once and for all. For Father God, we know that you care for us watchfully and we know that you care for us affectionately. So Father God, I thank you today that we walk by faith and not by sight. Father God, I thank you today that we will not be discouraged or dismayed by what we see. For what we see is but a momentary light affliction and cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. So Father God, I thank you today that I trust you, but I can't touch you, track you, trail you. Father God, I thank you today that you are the great I am. Lord, you are what we need when we need it. So Father God, I thank you today that we run to you for once our help comes, so we know that our help comes from the Lord. Father God, I thank you today that Father God, you are working things together for our good. Father God, I thank you today that Father God, your word says in James 1, 2, count it all joy. We inform various trials and testings for the testing of our faith produces patience. Let patience have its perfect work that we might be complete, perfect, and lacking nothing. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Luke 630, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and runneth over. For the measure we give is the measure that we shall receive. So Father God, I thank you today. Father God, you are my burden bearer. Lord, I thank you today that you are the yoke destroyer. Father God, I thank you today that you are the blind eye opener. Father God, I thank you today that you are the great I am. Father God, I thank you today that you are what we need when we need them. So Father God, I thank you today as your word says in Romans 8, 18, for this is but a momentary light affliction and cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 28, and we know that all these things are working together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose, his plan, and his design. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 34 10, those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Matthew 6 and 33, to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. So, Father God, I thank you today that I seek your will, that, Father God, I seek your way, Father God, I seek your plan, that, Father God, your words is to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all else shall be added unto us this day, Father God, we seek you. Father God, I thank you today is your words in John 15 and 7. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask with your desire and it shall be done for you. Is there anything too hard for God? Lord, I thank you today is your words in Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Father God, I thank you today for the dunamis power, the dynamite power that abides and resides on the inside of us. Lord, your word is in Genesis 18 and 14. Is there anything too hard for God? 
Believer, understand this. You may have a problem, a challenge, a situation, but understand this. If God be for you, who could be against you? Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8, 37. Yet in all these things, we are more then conquer us through him who loved us. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Matthew eleven twenty. 28. Come to me, all those who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Lord, I thank you today that we rest in you, we lean on you, and we abide in you. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 101. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the path of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law, he does meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaf shall not wither, his fruit shall come forth in due season, and whatever he touches shall prosper. Father God, I thank you today as your words in 3 John 2. I wish above all things that you may as prosper just as your soul prospers. Lord, I thank you today for your words as the liberal soul shall be made fat. Let's put on the armor. In the name of Jesus, we put on the whole armor of God that we may stand against the wine of the devil. Or we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rules of darkness, world, and spiritual works in high places. Therefore, we take unto ourselves the whole armor of God that we may withstand the evil they have and all the stand we stand there for, having our Lord's dirt about truth. Your word, Lord, which is truth, contains all the weapons of our warfare, which are our carnal, but mind through God to the pulling down of struggles. We have on the breastplate of righteousness, which is faith and love. Our feet are shod with the preparation of gospel peace. In Christ Jesus, we have peace and pursue peace with all men. We are ministers of reconciliation, proclaiming the good news of the gospel. We take the shield of faith, wherewith we have quenched all the fire out to the wicked, and the helmet of salvation, holding the thoughts, feelings, and purpose of God's heart, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, in the face of all trials, in the face of all tests, in the face of all temptations, in the face of all tribulations, we cut to pieces the snares of the enemy by speaking the word of God, for greater is us than he that's in the world. Lord, we thank you for the armor. Father God, I thank you right now that we understand and realize that we might be the only Bible somebody hears today. We might be on Jesus, somebody sees today. So, Father God, I thank you that we will let our light so shine and draws all men and women to you. The Lord's prayer says, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Make it plain, Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, Father God, not into temptation, but deliver us, Father God, from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer of Jabez said this, Oh, that you would bless me indeed. Father God, I thank you today that we are blessed to be a blessing. Enlarge our territory. Lord, I thank you today for the land, the building, the resources. Lord, I thank you today for the financial deliverance that you are raising up for such a time as this. But this is our time. This is our season. Lord, I thank you today for divine hookups, increased promotion, and favor. Lord, I thank you today that you hand be with us. But we can do nothing without you. Lord, I thank you right now for travel mercy and travel grace. As we get on the highways, byways, planes, trains, and automobiles, Lord, I thank you today that we're family of faith and not of tragedy. Right now, believers, as I pray for my family, I want you to pray for your family. Lord, I thank you today for my wife, my rib, my good thing. Lord, I thank you for the blessing. I pray for my children, Jomo, Jemiah, and Josiah. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over them. Father God, I thank you this day that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. No weapon shall have intended them. For what the enemies made for bad, Lord, I know you'll turn around for their good. Lord, I thank you right now for my blood, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, in-laws. Lord, I pray for the church to serve, love first. I pray for every soul you put in my care. I pray for our prayer partners in the infall. I pray for the sick and the shut in, the weak and the weary, the downtrodden, the hurt, the abused, the neglected, the black side of the heat. I pray for brothers and sisters behind bars. Brothers and sisters, may crucify for your name. Brothers and sisters, in the harm's way. I pray for our leaders, local and national. Give them wisdom to lead. I pray for our first responders, police officers, firefighters, and ambulance workers. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray right now for our leaders, local and national. Lord, I pray right now for our teachers, guidance counselors, resource officers, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, cross cut workers. Lord, I pray for all those on the medical field. Lord, help them this day. These things, Father, I'm going to ask. In your son Jesus' name, I pray. I say amen, amen, and amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Well, 
I pray you have a tremendous day. It is what day it is. It is whatever day it is. Glory to God. Let's close out. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us and make us. This is what we pray. Change our heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change our heart, oh God. May we be like you. Hey, believers, this walk of faith is a daily walk. Do not be discouraged by yesterday. Don't worry about tomorrow. Just focus on today. And if God be for you, and he is, who or what can be against you? Well, I love you, life. I hope you have a tremendous day. Glory to God. Um, Bible study tonight. Bible study tonight. Praise God. This is first Sunday. Communion Sunday is this Sunday. I'm starting a new series called Jesus the Recycler. And this Sunday, I'm talking to the person who is still dealing with their issue. Some of you have a cussing spirit. Some of you have a mouth spirit. And to Sunday, I'm going to deal about Delta, the cussing, cutting Christian. <laughs> it's going to be good. I hope you find your way to church and we'll be taking communion. All right. Well, I'll holler at you. I love you. Give me about 60 seconds or so, and I'll get back with y'all. All right? You know, my message Sunday is just talking about how God can, can transform you. Amen? All right. Let me, let me do what I got to do. I'll be right back.